So I've only been running the farm now, running the farm, I guess, for like a day and a half. But I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't do this alone. Normally, Chris actually does most of the feeding farm chores. I do most of the gardening, preparing food, preserving. Chris is not here today. He's actually out of town this weekend. And that means that I get to do all the farm chores, bright and early. Being very loud. What are you guys doing? Playing some weird games? Hi. Stop being a rascal. Why you call me closer to your chest? I see it in your eyes. That you are ready to be hurt again. Like nothing ever cries. We also have a chicken who is on medication right now, recovering from sauerkraut. So I gave her her medication. That was a little bit of a struggle, but I got it done. I had to give Scyther, our little crossbeak chicken, her special food, which just is food wet down. Until you came knocking at my door, 
Apparently, do not like me. Hey, no. No! I got attacked twice by them. It's okay, because I have like strong jeans on and tall boots. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. As you can tell, I'm pretty tired and pretty sleepy, but I got all the chores done. The animals are fed, they all have water. <laughs> And it's a beautiful morning out. The roosters are singing you lots of songs. We also recently reacquired a rooster that we had rehomed, but then he suddenly had become somewhat aggressive and the new owner was either going to cull him, which means essentially kill him and use him for meat, or was going to send him back to us. And so, you know, of course we took him back. And so he's in the little A-frame coop right now, and we're going to move him in with our roosters in the not too far away future. Normally, Chris actually does most of the feeding farm chores. I do most of the gardening, preparing food, preserving. So I showered and got outside. I have somebody from work coming over in just a bit to pick up some produce. So I am getting them a box of different produce ready to go. They wanted onions, peppers, tomatoes, some garlic, and chard. So, oh, and some green beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick them. I will stay here, I will stay here. And as long as my heart beats like a drum, then I will Now I'm going to pick some peppers.
So it's about 10.30 and I need to pick some greens for the bunnies for breakfast. They get AM salads and PM salads. So I'm picking some kale and some um, greens that are bolting and some herbs. I might give them a couple cherry tomatoes too. I never Without a single care in the whole wide world But I don't want to run Run away from you Cause baby I am done Hiding my love You can't control who you fall for. So it's torrentially raining. So my plans of trying to get the fall garden planted, uh, not happening right now. So gonna have to wait till it stops raining. And I guess I'll just hang out, play some guitar, sing some songs. Um, I don't know, make some lunch? What do you do when it's rainy outside? When you're by yourself? <laughs> Spoken and empty Coming and done But you call her Beautiful child 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 Considering the fact that you're watching this YouTube video, obviously that's another task I have to do, edit YouTube videos. So this one is our Airstream trailer renovation. Just watch me. They, these kinds of things need to be started from scratch. It's rainy, thundery, 
and kind of depressing. So a good day to be inside working on preserving some of our produce. So today I am going to make some salsa fair day. I have close to two pounds of tomatillos, but I think the recipe calls for a pound and a half and I want to double it. So I'm actually going to go outside and see if I can pick some more. And I think it's raining a little bit, but it's not too bad. So I'm just going to run outside and pick some tomatillos. It's definitely still raining, but it's kind of just a drizzle. So we're going to run. <laughs> Got my basket of tomatillos to bring inside and I'm also gonna pick an onion because the recipe calls for an onion. Look a little closer, it's been quite some time. But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line. But there's some words that I just wanna say to put it all straight before this night turns into day. go ahead and get this garlic peeled and then I'm just gonna throw everything into a blender I'm gonna chop this onion just into a few large pieces so it blends easier and then we'll we'll get this salsa verde made I'm on my way for some lunch I'm going to cook up some pasta I made some cashew alfredo sauce and then I'll top it off with maybe some roasted or sun-dried tomatoes and some fresh basil jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue lunch and this looks delicious the rain is mostly stopped it's down to a drizzle so I am going to get to doing some gardening I have this area behind me that had potatoes and I pulled the potatoes out and harvested all those so I am going to make some rows and plant some fall crops can you take a
beside the straw and then plant in the soil. But I'm kind of thinking of just putting soil on top of the straw and doing it more like kind of how people do like straw bale gardens. I honestly feel a little confused about what to do. I don't want to leave the dirt uncovered and I feel like things will have better moisture retention if I just leave, leave, the, leave the hay down. We'll see. A lot of my gardening is experimental, to be honest. And then I learn things and then I do them according to experience as opposed to experiment. <laughs> And you make me smile I can listen all night long I tell you about the time when I first met you Listening to a favorite song Walking on the street when you caught my eyes Something about the way you move No, there ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like So lucky to be yours So I've only been running the farm now, running the farm, I guess, for like a day and a half. But I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't do this alone. I would not live this life by myself. And I'm not saying people shouldn't. I'm not saying that it's bad to live it by yourself. I actually know someone who does it amazingly well, like to the point where I'm super, super impressed by her always. I just feel so lonely and so overwhelmed by the small things like even the rooster attacking me this morning um, was very stressful and made me feel very frustrated and it's just not it's not easy and um, like making meals by myself isn't fun and I mean part of it's not the farm life alone it's just being alone in general I'm not used to it so anywho I'm just in kind of a down mood and I apologize because this is a day in the life video and it's supposed to be really fun but I'm trying to get myself out of this mood and I'm gonna make tacos tonight yes by myself and I'm gonna eat some tacos with our buttercup squash and potatoes and top it off with some salsa verde and some cabbage that we grew and I'm going to pick myself up May not be in the best mood ever, but life is good. Life is good. So right now I'm just picking some peppers in our pepper forest and picking a couple serrano peppers. This is a pepper forest. It's very hard to get to anything. Okay. This bean trellis does make me pretty happy. I need to try to get the tarp back over here but I can't reach that unless I have some kind of ladder. Certainly not perfect, but at least it's covering the roof. This is a warning from the past. Hi there, cutie. You know who does make me super happy? Our two barn cats. They're so, they bring me so much joy and very, very little stress. Although, if they were to get lost or hurt or injured, they would bring me lots of stress because I love them. My hair's crazy. Well, it's time for dinner. I'm going to make buttercup squash tacos. This is the first buttercup squash from our garden, so I'm going to chop this up. I'm going to roast it for a little while, then I'm going to saute some peppers and onions. Um, I'm going to throw some black beans in the Instant Pot, and then I'll top it off with some fresh tomatoes, shredded cabbage, and our salsa verde. to 
7.30. I gave the goats their feed for the evening, which is just more hay. I definitely put away the roosters because I didn't want to have to deal with that later, and I got attacked again. So that wasn't fun. Um, and then just keeping it real. Hi. Yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. Hi, Jim. Say hello. trusty steed right here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner and then I'm gonna be doing the evening chores which are essentially the same as the morning chores, putting the stuff away instead of taking it out. And I'm gonna go feed the bunnies after that and I'm gonna leave you guys here because I need a break from filming all day. It's been exhausting, but I hope you enjoyed this day in the life. Good night, friends. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>